Hello, I'm Paul Douglas Walfall and it is my privilege to be serving you as one of the intercultural observers at General Council 43 in July. Some have described this upcoming General Council as the most important one since the inaugural General Council meeting some 93 years ago. We'll be looking at an overhauling of the administrative structures of the Church, and no doubt much of our attentions will be on the possible implementation of structural changes and a change in the ways we will do business in the United Church of Canada. In this context, it is easy for many of the issues regarding equity, including justice for the LGBTQ plus community, racial justice, gender justice, or disabilities to be subsumed by the avalanche of considerations given to structural issues. When we talk about equity, we are also in part talking about the mission of the church. It is this talk about the mission of the church which must never be lost in the many and varied discussions that will occur at the meeting of the General Council. The mission of the Church challenges us to see the image of God in all persons and to acknowledge the inherent worth of all human beings. The intercultural observer at the General Council is there to be an active observer. The role includes holding up to the Church the ideal of being an intercultural church. It involves listening to the discussions happening on the general council floor and encouraging those who feel left out to speak up and out. At times it may mean to challenge the council to live up to the ideal which we have as a church. To observe does not mean to remain silent. The role calls upon the observer to participate in the discussion and to advocate to the court on issues which require justice and equity. Ultimately, the intercultural observer is there for you, for you and your fellow commissioners are the general counsel. As you prepare to come to Oshawa, I encourage you not only to review the many proposals coming to the meeting, but also to re-familiarize yourself with the intercultural lens which will guide our work. The intercultural lens, I remind you, calls upon us to question biases, challenge assumptions, notice who is missing, value all voices, aim for equity, live out our commitments. I look forward to seeing you and sharing with you at this important meeting of the Church, the 43rd meeting of the General Council of the United Church of Canada. See you there.